Men's Cologne Gift Guide 2018. Let's do it. That felt very official, but hello guys. Um, so today, like I just said, I'm going to be showing you guys whether you're a girl watching this and you want to buy a good cologne for your partner, for your love, whatever, or if you're a guy watching this and you want to buy it for, again, your partner or your son or whoever, I've got you guys covered. I have literally thought about this list. I've done a women's one as well for a very long time. Like I wanted to put this list together and curate it really carefully because gifting perfumes is hard. Gifting colognes is hard. It's very difficult because obviously fragrance is very personal, but I have chosen to me personally some of the most likable fragrances that I feel like most people are going to love. Most men and boys are going to adore these colognes. So I have 10 here to show you guys um, and let's just get into it. I'm excited to show you guys what I've picked. So let's start off with an easy one. I will give you guys kind of age recommendations as well. Not that it matters because honestly, wear whatever you want, but just so it's easier if you're confused about what to get your teenage son or your teenage cousin or whatever, I've got you guys kind of covered in that in that category as well. So let's start out with this easy one. This is Versace Pour Homme. Gorgeous freshy. That is all I'm gonna say. This is a gorgeous, easy to wear, fresh scent that is really likable. Smells incredible to me, and it's a great cheapy. This is a really affordable fragrance, Versace Pour Homme, but it smells great. To me, this smells like a really, really great fragrance. Um you cannot go wrong with this. To me, I recommend this mostly for teenagers, but it could also be gifted to to a man as well. It doesn't really matter, but to me, I see this being the perfect gift for a teenager. For his first fragrance, maybe. It's actually my nephew's birthday the day after Christmas, and I'm thinking of buying him Versace Pour Homme as like his first kind of cologne. So it's a great fragrance. Anyone can wear it, and everyone will smell good wearing it. So Versace Pour Homme, great freshy, and it's very affordable as well. Okay, so I'm going to talk about another freshie coming up next, but this one to me is a little bit more, uh, a little bit more wow than Versace Pour Homme. Versace Pour Homme's good, but this one's a little bit more wow. This is Aquadigio Ascenza. Never buy Aquadigio, the original, because it's very old, it's very done and dusted. This is an easy fragrance for any man to pull off, for any man to wear, especially if you're coming into summer. Like in Australia, we're coming into summer, so this is also a great freshie to give someone. Oh my god, it is a fantastic fresh fragrance. This is one of my favourites for the summertime. And again, it's fairly affordable as well. So Aquadigio Ascenza, I would recommend this to any man, teenagers to grandpa. Like I would recommend this to absolutely everyone. So Aquadigio Ascenza, it's a great fresh fragrance. And I feel like everybody needs a fresh fragrance in your perfume collection or your cologne collection, you need a great freshie and this is definitely one. So Aquadigio Ascenza is an awesome fragrance. Okay, my next fragrance. Um, my next fragrance I have talked about a lot, a lot, a lot on my channel um, and I just think it is a fantastic fragrance so I will continue to recommend it. This is from Hermes and this is Ted Hermes. Now you can get the Eau de Toilette or the Eau de Parfum, it doesn't really matter what one you choose. But you cannot go wrong with Ted Hermes from Hermes. In my opinion, this is a very safe gift for somebody. And to me, it's more of a 20 upwards. Like, I feel like this is a little bit more of a mature scent because it's very woody. There is a lot of beautiful woodiness to this, the, <laughs> to this fragrance along with a beautiful citrus note. But to me, it's a little bit more of a woody scent. So I see something like this being much more appropriate for a teenager. Whereas Ted Hermes to me is a little bit more mature, a little bit more for a bit more of a masculine guy. So Hermes, Ted Hermes, get it. If you get this for the right guy, he will love you forever. Because honestly, it is such a fantastic fragrance. In my opinion, it's like a great signature scent. It's just a great fragrance in general. But like I said, maybe for somebody a little bit, little bit older, like 20s upwards, and maybe a little bit more of a sophisticated kind of guy. So can't go wrong with Teta Hermes. It is a fantastic fragrance. Now, next. My next fragrance is really really for the masculine guy. Like this is for, 
I would say 30 upwards, possibly 40 upwards. Like it's a very, not that it smells old, but it is for a man. Like this is for the manly man in your life. Do not gift this for a teenager. Do not gift it for a pretty boy. This is not a pretty boy scent. This is Dior Fahrenheit. It's amazing. It's sexy. It's masculine. But it is not appropriate for... Yeah, it's it's literally the most one of the most masculine fragrances I've ever smelled. So I actually was watching... This is a funny little story. I actually was watching Sex in the City. Um, I'm obsessed with that show. I've literally watched it more than 50 times the entire box set but anyways I was watching it and I noticed that in Mr. Big's bathroom Fahrenheit was sitting in in Mr. Big's bathroom and that is exactly that is exactly the type of man that should wear Fahrenheit a very sexy man who is very confident in who he is, he's more mature, he smokes cigars, he is a very 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 you know He's a man. So, Mr. Big, if you kind of know someone in your life that is a bit of like a Mr. Big character, Fahrenheit is perfect. I absolutely love that fragrance, but to me, that one has to be worn on the right man, and it is the perfect gift that you could give somebody. Quick side note, I am totally sunburnt right now, like burnt to a crisp, if, you, if you've if you noticed. And this is a new release. This just came out this year. So. If you kind of want to impress someone that you're like keeping up with the trends and you know what's going on and maybe this person's kind of into fragrances, I would definitely like look at getting this one. This is from Yves Saint Laurent and this is Y, the Eau de Parfum. I really disliked the Y, the first one that came out, but I love, I love Y Eau de Parfum. I think it is really, really, really good. It's sweet. It's aromatic, it's a little bit woody as well. To me, this one is just the right amount of sweetness to kind of be still a little bit masculine, but it's still definitely got that sweetness in there. So why the Eau de Parfum is a great gift. And I also really love the bottle and it's new. So it kind of looks like you, you know what's going on. You're keeping up with trends because you just bought him a fragrance that just came out in 2018. So I think that that's kind of, that's kind of cool. So why Eau de Parfum? Do not get the Eau de Toilette get the Eau de Parfum. I think it's really good. Like I said, I feel like it's a bit along the same lines as like Ultra Male and Le Mal, but that one obviously is new and it's a little better than Ultra Male in my opinion. These two fragrances are possibly the safest colognes, in my personal opinion, that you could buy a man or a boy. These are the two safest colognes in this entire list. The first one is obviously Bleu de Chanel. Bleu de Chanel is an icon. I smell it all the time, but somehow, somehow it still surprises me how good it smells. So that's why I'm recommending it. To me, it doesn't, it doesn't blend in. It kind of really does stand out after so many years of it being out. I think that it's still a fantastic fragrance. I really do think that this should be in every guy's collection. One version of Bleu de Chanel. Now let's talk about the concentrations. I would recommend any of them, literally any of them, because they're all fantastic. My favourite is the Eau de Parfum concentration of Bleu de Chanel. But if you want to kind of maybe maybe shock them a little bit, get the Parfum. I do like the Eau de Toilette, but I would definitely go with the Eau de Parfum or the Parfum. So Bleu de Chanel, any concentration's fine. It is an icon and it's a fragrance that I don't, I've never met a guy that doesn't like Bleu de Chanel, ever. This is the Coco Mademoiselle of the men's fragrance game. Like literally this is just liked by everyone. It's a crowd pleaser, it's a compliment getter, you can't go wrong with Bleu de Chanel. And again, I'd recommend it for teenagers up until uh, grandpa. Like again, I, I literally recommend that one to everyone. So my other really safe option is one of my favorite fragrances in the entire world. This fragrance is incredible. If you want to blow the person away that you're gifting to, get Yves Saint Laurent La Nuit de L'Homme. I think that if you gifted a guy La Nuit de L'Homme from any age, again, this could be teenager to, again, older, any man would be stoked, like absolutely 
just stoked to have this in his collection because to me this is one of the best fragrances ever created. It's so sexy, it draws you in, it's sensual, yet a little bit masculine as well. There is just the perfect balance of everything. It's a little bit sweet and spicy and aromatic and a tiny bit woody in the base, but there is just something in here that draws you in and draws women in. So to me, La Nuit de L'Homme is one of the best fragrances and I think that every guy would be happy to have this. I don't see a guy not liking that fragrance at all. I think it's absolutely incredible. These next two fragrances are for the person that wants to spend that extra dollar, that doesn't mind gifting a more expensive fragrance, they don't mind spending the money. These would be my two ultimate recommendations. If you're comfortable with spending the money, these are the only two fragrances that I would say are totally safe to buy for a man. Let's start off with Aventus from Creed. Of course, of course, of course, Aventus to me... <laughs> I've smelt this so many times, yet every single time I put my nose on it, I smile and it makes me like... It just, it just does something. It's a very sexually attractive fragrance. That's like the word that I would use to describe it. It's very like, it's very sexually attractive. I don't know what is in here, but it is just incredible. It's got pineapple, it's smoky, it's musky, it's woody, it's manly. It's just amazing. Like this is an amazing, amazing scent. And it is one of the only niche fragrances out there that I would say you could buy for a guy. He would be absolutely over the moon to receive this. Creed Aventus, it is like the epitome of a masculine fragrance. It is amazing and like I said, it's very sexy. So Creed Aventus, I also say I recommend it to everyone. I recommend this to teenagers again, all the way up to all ages. So I recommend this to absolutely everyone. And the great thing about Creed Aventus is that it's very versatile. You can throw it on in the summer, in the spring, anytime, in the fall, in the... You can literally wear this whenever, wherever, and it's appropriate. So Creed Aventus definitely is one of the only niche fragrances that I would recommend you to buy someone, and I know that they would love. Okay, my number two. My other niche fragrance that I would say is one of the safest fragrances that you could buy a guy and he would be. I think that he would be forever grateful to you for this fragrance, for making him smell this good. I think that he, he would be eternally grateful to you. This is from Parfum de Mali and this is Leighton. And oh my good lord. <laughs> Again, there is something in this fragrance, there is something in here that is a magnet, an absolute magnet. I've tested all of these fragrances out. This was the one that I could not stop, I'm not joking right now, I could not stop smelling my hand. Like I was smelling it all day. And I was so attracted to this fragrance. Like, this is some sexy, sexy stuff. Now, to me, I would describe Leighton as an aromatic vanilla. That is how I would describe it. When you first spray it on, it kind of comes across a little bit fresh. But it's not a totally fresh fragrance. It's not too heavy. You could definitely wear this one in the summer, in the autumn, in the fall. Like, you could wear this one whenever. Definitely. It's very versatile. Like Creative Ventures, you could wear this one whenever. But there is a little bit more of a sweetness in here. And a little bit more to me, uh, something that just makes you want to come closer. Like, that is what Parfums de Mali Leighton does. It's alluring and you just want to nuzzle up to it. Like honestly, I, like I said, I could not stop. Out of all the fragrances, I just could not stop smelling it. So I honestly think your collection is not complete if you don't have this fragrance. Trust me right now. I've heard some people say that it smells like Le Mal or Ultramail or, you know, it's got comparisons to those fragrances. I would say no. I would say it's very it, it's not. I would say it definitely smells like a high quality niche fragrance with this incredible mass appeal that is so sexy. So 
Layton, you're gonna get compliments. Same with Creative Enters, both of them, you're gonna get compliments. Girls are gonna go crazy for them. They last a long time. They appeal to everyone and they're great versatile fragrances. So those will be my two niche fragrances that I recommend. If you want to spend the money, you can choose which one sounded better out of those two. Okay, I have one final fragrance. Now I have I have a lot to say about this one, and I think that if you know that this man that you're gifting fragrance a fragrance to is into colognes, if he if you know for a fact that he is into colognes. This is the fragrance to get. Now, this may be a little bit confusing. Um, let me hold it up. It is Parfums de Mali Layton Exclusive. So you guys know I just talked about Layton. Now, the reason that I'm putting Layton Exclusive as my number one gift to gift to a man is because this is exquisite. So is the original but I see that this being a little bit more appealing to everyone, for a teenager, for a man, for literally everyone. Whereas the Parfums de Mali Leighton Exclusive, this one is for your husband. This is for somebody that you really, really, really want to impress. Like I said, if the person that you are gifting to is into colognes, like if you know for a fact that he really does like his colognes, get this fragrance. He will be blown away. This fragrance is absolutely exquisite. It has the DNA of Leighton, but it is so much more rich and decadent and just absolutely insanely good. Like the word that I would use to describe it is rich. This fragrance has oud and almond and vanilla, but it, like I said, it has the latent DNA, but just added with so much more. So like I said, if you want to impress, like you really want to show out, get Parfums de Mali Leighton exclusive. Okay. So Leighton exclusive, I would say Possibly don't get this for a teenager. I definitely wouldn't recommend this one for a teenager. I'd recommend this one for a teenager, but this one's just a little bit too rich in my opinion for a teen. I would say 20s upwards, definitely. Leighton exclusive would be a massive tick. So this was my ultimate Christmas gift. Like if I had a partner, if I had a boyfriend and I wanted to like I wanted to impress him and get him something really special in this entire list. I wouldn't buy him Yves Saint Laurent. I wouldn't buy him Chanel. I would get him Leighton Exclusive. That's just my personal opinion. If I had a boyfriend and I wanted to impress him, I would buy him this fragrance. So, okay, so that is it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed hearing about what my men's cologne gift ideas would be for 2018 if you want to buy a really nice fragrance for a guy in your life. These would be my top recommendations, and I truly believe that um, every single one of these fragrances is very appealing to most men. I'm not going to say all, but most men would be absolutely thrilled to receive any one of these fragrances. So I hope that you enjoyed the video. Um, everything will be linked down below for you guys so it's easier. And yes, please follow me on Instagram. It is at demi.rawling, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.